Continue. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you about this. By taking an example. But Americans always tell you, you, you better talk and teach with example. Personal experiences, that's always the best. Let's do that. I've been in America many times. I lived there 12 years, but before I made an incredible number of trips over there and staying sometimes for one month, sometimes for six months. And I've learned a few things and I've listened. Now, America, I will make special videos, not the point. Um, America is not going to teach you, no. But some people do, yeah. You meet some, really some great people in America. Well, many times they, they are coming from other countries and living there. And anyway, so we don't, we, Europeans, we, we don't listen to anything said officially by America, any segment of society. No, we. We have been brainwashed by the movie industry, okay, that's one point. But otherwise we we don't take everything which is coming from America as the gospel. No, we don't. I learned to be this way also. I learned the truth about many things in America. It will be a special show, should I say. I could make a movie, I would. And of the means. In America you can meet great people. Usually they are just people like us, you know. Very evil, evil people coming from other places in the universe who incarnated in the USA to try to change things over there. Because there are many, many ch things to change over there. Yes, yeah, sure. So, you learn from people in America. I've learned a good many things. So I've learned that. Speak from personal experiences. And also I talk, I got from some of them good information. And one of the important information was the truth about new technologies and the computer industry. It started with a colleague, speaker, friend of mine, Captain Virgil Armstrong, not a cosmonaut, okay, Virgil Armstrong, USAF captain. He was an intelligence officer in Roswell, <coughs> and later on he was contacted by Ashton and Corton, I guess, who told him. It's a big mess in the new age. Now you go talk to these people. You, you clear the way. It was, it's messy. Go. So Virgil told us a bunch of stuff about what he had first experience, first hand. That is, he has seen the flying saucers crash in Roswell and has seen the bodies of several crashes. One crash was the Lil Grace, no doubt about that. Uh, one other crash was another kind of Lil Grey looking, but in that case they said they were not grey. They were not grey, they were small but not grey. And they were coming from planets when they use crystals, communicate by telepathy, and very seldom do they visit this place, so this was not the same stuff as the Greys. Problem with the Greys is that, as you know, the power that be that have always been took all of that technology, all of it, including what? The computers! Computer! Hey, yeah, computer! Uh, yeah, 
spaceship of the Grace crash in Roswell, Whiteson, and other places, and all over the planet, they had computers on board. Of course. Aha! That's something. That's something. So, nice piece here. One time I was in Iowa someplace. I was watching CNN. CNN. <laughs> because on all those control medias, sometimes you find tiny pieces that come poof. You see them one time, never seen after. No. Mistake someplace. So one such, such mistake was the interview of a guy who said there, CNN, year 1999, spring of 1999, CNN interview. A guy, middle-aged guy, say, I'm a CEO of a computer company in Silicon Valley. And I made so much money, you wouldn't believe it, so I'm going to retire. But before I retired, I would like to tell the truth. And when I retired, I would use all that money to spread the truth. And this is the truth. We, Silicon Valley and everywhere, we did not invent computers. No. All that we use and we have done was taken from the flying saucers that crashed in Roswell, New Mexico and other places. These spaceships from the Greece that were all our technology that we develop here in Silicon Valley is coming from. All of this is technology equipment from the Greys. Okay, that was a good piece, wasn't it? But like an investigator of alternative media, we are the, the real journalists, the real press, you know. Should do, you have to recoup, you have to find other sources to confirm a news that you want to give, you don't take, boom. Only one information that's coming from, I don't know where, Tilus, Shambhala, whatever, and give it like gospel to the people. No, you check your sources, you double check. At least you should double check. There are other examples, but there is another one. So that piece that confirmed the story I was in Albuquerque by the end of the 80s, before the, the 90s started, just at the time also where, that's it, everybody was buying personal computers and all that stuff. So only for a while I went to Albuquerque in the area of the university, and it's a bit of hip place. You find many people, many new age bookstores, cafe, whatever. You you talk with a good many people there. And what do the people living here around the university were telling me back there? Well, they were telling me the truth about computers. Oh yeah. So that was the story that did transpire. From the university, of course. Nothing would happen inside a university that even closed door that will not transpire all over the campus. <laughs> it's impossible. You know everything that's going on in the university if you are in it. So people of you who are being in a university or the families, whatever, told the story. One time, a call was made to the university by the military, U.S. Air Force and such. Say, uh, 
we need that you gather for us the best uh, students in science, physics, science, and all that kind of stuff, including, of course, the, the, the new classes on computers. So you bring us this, these people. We're going to have a special meeting with them in the university. Oh, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? So it was a special meeting in a university in a room which was confidential, selected people brought in there, and the military, the guys from the US Force, US Air Force, talking with a group of students, the best one. Say, look at the table down there. We put a lot of stuff on the table. You see, you have a lot of hardware, transistor ships, you have a bunch of storage stuff, diagrams, screens, and all that stuff. So that stuff is, is working. We, we managed to plug that stuff in once. So what we want is that you use that. And they told the student, oh yeah, all that stuff on the table is all the equipment we took out of the flying saucers who crashed in the our bases all over the place. Several crashes. So you guys, you go into this and you are going to develop something from that. You are going to so-called invent something out of that. You are going to build a platform out of this that we could use and that will be used in all the computers all over planet Earth, including into personal computers for people. Air Force, military and others strange groups like DARPA where they do not reveal their plan and their goal, they don't explain the why and how it's going to be used or anything. These are the guys. Okay, go with something in this. And then shortly after this meeting one of the students invented Windows. Great, eh? Wow, missed the one I call Mr. Big Burger number 5 or number 45. I don't know. He invented Windows. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Isn't that great? This guy made, just made a Xerox copy of the program which was in these computers from the early degrees. That's why it's a BS thing. It freezes. It doesn't work properly. You have to change it, change it, change again a version. He has to update almost every week now. So it's going to be every day that thing will update itself. And we don't know why. Other subject. There, a Windows was invented in the university in New Mexico. And people talked to, revealed to me, quite quickly after that meeting, Mr. Gates was driving a Ferrari in the streets and boulevard around the University of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Clap, 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 clap. Second point. Now you can think and think and think and rethink. This is the technology of the ZT Grays that we use every day in our computers and everything. Because that thing is a computer too. This is a little computer. No, 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 this is not a telephone. No, no, no. Uh, Andy goes, listen to me. 
this is not a phone. No. The mobile phone, that, no, this is not a phone. This is a radio. This, uh, this is a radio receiver, receptor. You receive radio signals and you send out radio, radio signals. That's why we need all these awful towers all over the place. Because it's radio. It's not a telephone. Telephone technology is something else. Boom. All right. Now we have the problem. We have the problem. Because you guys, Indigos, you are fully swimming up to here into all that stuff which is a technology from the Greece. Well, but why the technology the Greece would be bad and everything? Okay. First of all, <coughs> the ships from the Greece are from a frequency equivalent to the fourth dimension. Not the fifth, not the sixth. So technology from the fifth dimension, the sixth dimensions, is far much more advanced and perfect. Never in any problem with it. And the, the, the grid had problems with the computers, most probably. Yep. And with their ships, oh, you better believe. Our commanders in our fleet explained to us what happens to the ships of the Greys who crashed all over the planet and they said it cannot happen to us our ships are of a much higher frequency technology we cannot crash everything is in the same way that we cannot crash even if we are stuck in some density on your 3D planet we cannot crash <coughs> so here we are we are using a technology which is not perfect, who can crash. It does it crash, doesn't it? Never seen computer crashing? Eh? Mm -hmm. Zeti technology. Yep. Zeti technology. Okay, so these guys, they are what? They are computer genius, they are scientists. Well, they are like scientists, like very mentally oriented scientists with no chakras, no emotional body, nothing like those doing experiences on animals in laboratories. These kind of guys, those developing the virus to make us sick, weapons, all that stuff, the same kind of breed. Top of it, greys have been manufactured by the reptilians to be their, their walkers and the main f walking force that's it <clears throat> so what do you expect from a technology coming from that line but you and the ghost you are using that 24-7 the technology that you don't even know what the technology does, how it is being used, because there's very good reason why the military did ask Mr. Big Ball number 45 to develop a platform called Windows and all that stuff. There are a bunch of reasons. Many people talk about these, these reasons and these effects, so watch this. Me, I'm here to tell you, Nigos, that what you're using is a very low frequency. It is not your frequency. It is not the frequency of fifth dimension, sixth dimension and above. These frequencies and worlds and universes you are coming from. So you are coming from a higher frequency universe dimension and you are using a very low form of technology. It's insane, don't you think? 
Yeah, but we don't have anything else. This is weird. Everybody does now. In the, in the, I've talked to Facebook and everything and um, communicate and everything. <coughs> A bunch of us star people from the waves of the 40s, 50s, 60s by instinct, even by not knowing the fact I've been telling you. We suspected something wrong with that thing. We, we didn't like it much. And we understand and we feel that that's not good for us. Many of us, we feel that the so-called social networks, Facebook and the other stuff, they have very bad energies coming from that stuff. So many of us decide, decided to stay away or to go in there only to do some positive, urgent work, uh, messages, information to send out, and then cut. But you, the Indigos, you are stuck on that thing all the time, all the time, all the time. And that's not, not good for you. It's awful.